everyone, today we're going to be doing a rainy and very moody portrait photo shoot out on location. Today I'm using the Sony a7 IV and the 70-200 f2.8 Mark II lens. Very excited to get started, we have a super dreamy beautiful outfit to shoot with. Today's model is Lydia, the other Lydia is doing hair and makeup and Dan is behind the camera filming. Let's get started. I'm going to start shooting at 1.35. Oh, that's so cool. So dreamy. Perfect. Oh, over the shoulder there looked really nice. And then can I also get a shot with you leaning your elbow on the... Taking photos with the a7 IV is such a dream. I can't wait for mine to arrive really, really soon. For this shoot, I was letting the camera and lens do all the work for me in terms of autofocus as I wanted to see how well it would perform on location and photographing movement and portraits. I am using continuous autofocus with IAF turned on and a wide focus area. There were very few shots from this day that were out of focus, which is really awesome to see. I love that when you get just like a little bit of like wind under the sleeve as you're <laughs> twisting it, it looks so good. And then can we also try, if you stand like on the other side of the white flowers, and I'm gonna try and shoot with the flowers in the foreground of my shot and get some, a little bit more depth in the photos. Oh, that's cool. It looks like you're in a field of flowers. <laughs> in this spot, I was framing Lydia with the flowers to make it look like she's surrounded by them. So we have the taller flowers to the left, then a little gap where I'm positioning Lydia, and then another bunch of flowers to the right. Using the flowers in the foreground helps to break up the solid mass of grass we have in the background and helps the subject stand out as it leads your eye to the center of the frame. Lovely. And can we do a couple where it's kind of, I'm getting like a little bit closer up. If you could just do like a little turn kind of like that. Yeah, and then if I could get just a close up of you going like that. I wanted to emphasize the background to foreground separation, so I zoomed in to 200 millimeters for some extra portraits in this spot. In these shots, I also zoomed in to avoid capturing the horizon line and the grass in my frame, which makes the images look more dreamy. I was also more liberal with the foreground blur and I got some shots where it was completely covering Lydia for a bit of an abstract look. Here's also a comparison between all three compositions around this little patch of flowers. Yeah, that's stunning. Oh my gosh. Nice. And if you could also bring um, just your hand again. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Just getting here a bit lower to the ground, I've got the sun pointing directly at Lydia's face, so she's got some nice lighting for these close-up portraits. And I'm trying to get as many flowers as I can in the foreground, just to add a little bit of depth and interest into this photo. If you want to know more about the GM 70-200mm f2.8 Mark II lens that I'm using or more about the Sony a7 IV body, can I get you to pull your shoulder in closer to your chin then? I have complete reviews on both, which I'll leave linked in the description. Each of those reviews has their own photo shoot as well, with more unedited photos that you can look at. Do you be able to like untuck your hair from your ears too? Perfect. 
And then could you also, with your body, face like a little bit more away from me and we can turn back to look at me, yeah, a little more dramatically and maybe tuck this hair behind your ear? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Just look at me there as well. Nice. Since the Sony a7 IV is not out yet, I still don't have access to the raw files. Just like my a7 IV review video, the unedited photos I'm sharing with you today are straight out of the camera JPEGs. I am also using the JPEGs to edit as well. I decided to use my new Hazel Lightroom preset as I love how it affects greens, which we have a lot of in these photos. This preset in general just really suits parks and green locations. The purple eyeshadow is so nice, Lydia. We could get some nice close-ups here, actually. So while the sun's poking out just a little bit, I'm gonna try and get some backlit shots here. And we're just out in the open, so the bokeh in the background is gonna be very kind of washed out. Ooh, that's, that was really nice. Just there, yeah. And then bring your chin down a little. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm gonna try and get as close as I can to your face here. So this is a bit of a wider shot, so you can like swing your arms out for these ones. It's nice and dreamy. Yeah, beautiful. You can actually see a fair amount of flowers in the background too, which is cool. If you bring your arms just like that to the top of your head and just twist towards me a little bit more, yeah. Okay, so now that the wind's not blowing, can we try the quick swoosh, swoosh? <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna click a little bit faster. And then can we also try a crouching? Even if you play with your hair, it would look really nice. That was cool, like glancing away from the camera. Pretty cold and wet today, but I think Lydia did an amazing job and I'm super happy with the photos that we got. I'd love to know which ones were your favorites down in the comments below and let me know what other lenses you want to see me shoot on with the a7 IV. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I make new videos every single week and I'll see you all next time. I want to run to the car because I'm wet. <laughs>